Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a surprise for you. I'm gonna teach you how to create a custom HTML tag. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. First of all, what is a custom tag? A custom tag is just a tag in HTML, but it's a custom tag. A tag that you are going to create, not a tag like the dev, the built-in uh, tags like the div, we have also the p tag, the paragraph tag, we have many other tags. But I'm going to teach you how to create a custom tag, your own tag. And in order to do so, I'm going to be using JavaScript class. So if you don't know about classes in JavaScript and objects, please go to my channel and you will find a video about classes and objects in JavaScript. Watch it so that you'll be so that you will be able to understand this. And let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create here a script. Script, and this script will do everything. We'll create that tag. But before I work with the script, let's name the tag red apple. So at the end of this video, at the end at the end of this tutorial, we will have a tag called red apple. Let me remove it just for now or comment it out. And let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to name it red, red apple. And it should extend, extends HTML element. And then we need to have a constructor. And that constructor will be empty. Nothing but empty constructor. And it will only call the super constructor. That's it. I'm going to keep everything simple so that you understand everything. So now we have a class. What we need to do now is to tell JavaScript, hey JavaScript, go and tell HTML to create a tag called red apple. Because now HTML doesn't know anything about red apple tag, doesn't know anything. So in order to accomplish that, in JavaScript you can use custom elements that define and then you pass the name of that tag. We are going to name it red apple. And by the way, there are rules for naming that tag. You can't just name it anything. And then the next parameter is the class that we created, which is red, red apple. That's it. Now JavaScript will tell HTML to create the, this tag, to add this tag to the list of tags that HTML already has. But this is the first step. Now we need to create this apple, red apple tag. We can create it using JavaScript, or we can create it just in HTML. Let's first start creating it using JavaScript. As simple, you can use var red apple, red apple, apple, use the constructor, new red apple, red apple. So now we created an object. And then once we create this object, we can pass it to the document dot body dot append child. And we can pass the red apple. Now we should have this tag inside our document. But since this is now empty, it's just an empty uh, tag. Let's add some text inside it. So red apple dot inner HTML equals to this is a red apple, red apple tag. And I'm going to also add a style, red apple dot style dot color equals red, red. Let's now save and test my browser. And as you can see, if I refresh, as you can see, now we have this is a red apple tag. Let's check the um, console. If I open the console, inspect, and let's let's just maximize this. If I open the elements, you will find in the body inside the body. Let me just zoom so that you can see. As you can see now, we have here red apple, red hyphen apple tag, which has a color red, and this is the apple tag. And you can, of course, of course, instead of JavaScript, you can simply create it in HTML. Let me just uncomment this. 
but of course it should be after we key after after we create the class not before so this should be this should be below the script so here after we create the script we can just here paste this red apple if now I refresh we should have two tags as you can see we we have here red apple tag the first one and the second one which is red apple so we have two tags but this one of course doesn't have any text we can just you say here this is an apple red red apple tag and we can of course give it style style equals to color red color red now if I refresh you will see that we have two tags as you can see the first and the second and they are inside the body red apple and the red apple so the first method was you was by using JavaScript the second method by just using simple HTML tags so this is how you can create your own custom tags in HTML with JavaScript of course so if you have any questions about this tutorial about how you create custom tags leave them in the comments section below and also check the description below because I have created a free ebook on how to make money online coding this is most thanks for watching I'll see you later